Hi everybody, it's Marie from Pear Tree Paper Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is a process video for Scrap for the Boys for their monthly challenge. Um, and this one is for the theme of Flower Love, which is the September theme. Um, you will have seen it at the beginning of the video. Um, I've chosen to use mainly Vicky Booting products for this one. Um, and I'm using these beautiful stamps there that are from Vicky Booting. Um, and the beautiful thing about these stamps is they actually come with a matching die. Um, so I've used some Versamark ink, just some black ink there, um, to stamp those images. I did use my um, Tim Holtz uh, stamp um, thing, I can't remember what it's called, uh, stamping platform, sorry. Um, I used that so that I could make sure if I needed to re-stamp because the images didn't quite come out, I could do it again. Um, and it would be really effective. So what I'm doing now is I am just watercolouring the images. Again, I used that Versamark ink so that the colour wouldn't run when I did this. Um, and I'm just colouring them to match the stripes that are on that mixed media paper. Um, so the the, paper, the background paper that I'm using is also Vicky Booting and it's from that mixed media pad. Um, and there's lots and lots of papers in there. It's pre-prepared mixed media backgrounds. Um, so I decided to print to stamp three of the um, flowers there so that I could colour each one in each colour. So I have three of each, as you can see there. And I just used the little dies that came with the uh, stamp set to cut them out. Because um, I wanted to do like a tone on tone um, effect here. So I really tried very hard to match the colours of the flowers um, to the colours of that background. Um, the picture is of my little boy when he was younger um, and we were exploring in, in a forest. I forget where, I, I will find out and add some journaling on later, but um, we found this really interesting carved bench and it's the bench has been carved out of a log and I think it was either the shape of a snake or a crocodile or something like that. And so I um, wanted to scrap that um, photograph of him sort of being outdoors. I realised there's no flowers in the picture but I knew I could use flowers to embellish here because he's outdoors. Um, I love using flowers. I, I have no issue at all using florals on, um, on boy layouts. So what you've just been watching me do there is take some pieces of paper from a 6x6 six six, um, pad that I have and some little scraps I've got as well um, just to start layering up um, lots of layers behind that photograph. So I started off by doing a white layer um, just to make that photograph really pop and then I'm just using these different pieces of um, coloured paper. I've gone with that kind of grey colour to match in with the log and then I've gone with greens and turquoisey colours just like the background on that paper. Um, I used to do my matting of my photographs very straight, very square um, and I've since sort of developed um, I like the, I like the idea of doing them sort of just slightly offset and some colour at one side but not at the other and I, I think it gives a lot of interest to the matting of a photo because there's not much else going to go on this layout apart from um, what you can see me doing here with this matting and then those flowers. So I've got this tab punch from We Are Memory Keepers and I'm just using that to to stamp out or stamp out to punch out a few um, tabs um, in the different coloured. Um, pieces of cardstock that I've also used to map my photograph just again to give a little bit more interest to the different sides of the photo and then I'm just going to take some adhesive foam pop it on the back of the photo to just add a little bit of dimension to that layout trying to keep all the colours matching and just give lots of little areas of interest to look at so I love these phrases these are from Pink Fresh Studio, I think. Um, and I have some lettering as well. And I just wanted the title to be My Happiness um, because that word happiness uh, fits so beautifully with the colours on the on the layout that I, I really wanted to use that word happiness. And he really is, he is my he is my happiness. So just playing with the positioning of those letters now. And I've also taken a couple of those little um, puffy leaves as well. So just add in some dimensional foam now to the back of each of these flowers. Just putting one piece in the middle, it doesn't need masses. 
but just enough to prop each one up and keep them tone on tone. So I've tried to keep those, those flowers on top of those bits of colour. I wanted it to look like the colour was sort of coming out from underneath those flowers. Um, when I watercoloured them, I did try and put more colour towards the centre of the photograph to give a bit of depth. But sorry, not the photograph, the centre of the stamped image to give a bit of depth to the images. So I'm just using some wet glue now to pop in a few more tabs, stick them down and add a few more of those sort of petals on as well. I mean, I don't know if I want to add any more. And I do decide I'm going to add some of these Cocoa Vanilla Studio um, butterflies. I love these butterflies. I'm so excited that the new collection uh, from CVS has got butterflies in it as well. <laughs> I do like a butterfly. But just for see cutting those, I've got a green one and a couple of blues. Again, not wanting to add any different colours into this layout, I want to keep it very very similar to those background colours. Just adding now a little dimensional square under e underneath each wing after sticking down the centre of the butterfly just to give them a little bit of dimension, make them look like they're flying off the page. And now I'm going to use some sequins from Spiegel Mum Scraps. Um, I got a few sequin mixes as a prize um, for a competition as part of National Scrapbooking um, weekend or day or month. I know a lot of places had them uh, run over a little bit longer. So I'm just using some of those sequins to add a little bit of interest to the centre of the flowers. And then I'm just going to tuck a few more in around and about as well, just to give a little bit of sparkle to the page. So I'm just picking out the sequin mixes that have got Sort of blues and greens. So there's not one particular sequin mix I use for this. I just I've taken a few out of each bag that match my colours. I'm using glossy accents now um, to stick them down. I have tried sticking them on with wet glue, um, and I don't know what it is about glossy accents. Maybe it is just generally thicker or or stickier, uh, but I find it much more effective to stick sequins down, and I find they don't they don't fall off. Um, and you don't have to kind of press on them until it dries, they, they sort of adhere straight away, which I really like about them. And then the last thing I'm going to do here is add a few little phrases, like wonderful and bright and beautiful, to the top and the bottom of the photo. That's about it for my video today, thank you ever so much for watching, if you keep watching there'll be some close-ups, I really hope you've enjoyed it, if you have please like the video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you again soon, bye for now.